finally this evening, if you want something done right, do it yourself. We've heard that before. Well, back in January, we introduced you to some students who were building small boats for a class at the landing school in Arundel. And today was sort of a final test. They took their finished boats to Sebago Lake to put them in the water for the very first time to see if they float. A moment of truth, if you will. And New Center means David Guildford was there. It's a gorgeous May morning on Sebago Lake. In between the usual boat traffic of the day, a showstopper arrives. Let's get that stuff all installed and ready to go. These are the creations of the wooden boat class from the landing school out of Arundel. We met this group back in January when the students for the first time flipped the wooden hulls of these two sailboats they began building in September. On Wednesday, they'd touch water for the first time. I think there was some doubt all around at certain times. Making this a nine month project led by teacher Jake Greiner. I would call it the final exam. I would say this is really the reward for all of the hard work that they've put in over the course of the year is actually getting to go sail in the boat that they might not have really believed they were actually going to finish when we started out. <laughs> It's like spending an entire school year on one group project. A project, though, with many skills to master quickly. Each piece, you know, is handcrafted. And, uh, so everything you see, we had to do by hand and, and, and make. Max Keys is a poster child, a former Coast Guard sailor from Colorado. He was drawn to the landing school and already has a job waiting for him in Booth Bay Harbor. I was surprised to learn for almost all of these students, this would be the first time they ever sail. First time sailing in a boat that I built, which is kind of exciting. Now the first moment of truth. Yeah, how's that feel? You got a boat in the water. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. Then they set off. And at first, it's picking up. No pickup. The calm skies force them to paddle. But then as they move further out, the winds start to change, and everything they've handcrafted seems to be in working order. Now it feels good. Just be ready because we might, the wind's probably gonna shift and it's gonna be stronger. Okay. After nine months of work, it's hard not to get emotional. <laughs> oh boy. I built it, it's like there's so many memories. Blood, sweat, and tears went into this boat. James Milioresis loves his boat so much he'll hate to see it go. Both boats are for sale for around $26,000 each, strictly the cost of materials, they said. That's assuming they don't sail them away into the sunset themselves. On Sebago Lake, David Guilford, New Center, Maine. That is cool. Anyone interested in buying one of these boats can contact the landing school. As for the students, many of them already have jobs lined up in the boating industry. Others will be returning to further their skills in other marine areas. Very cool. I'd be I'd be so scared. You know this about me, yeah. like wooden boats when I see them too. I'm like, whew, I'm not a good enough captain for that kind of situation. <laughs> like I need a rub rail and a little <laughs> little vinyl down there or something. What a payoff for those You know students. your limits. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs>